Hey everyone, Maddie here. After trying out both versions of the new Valk 4, I feel that they are strong contenders with other flagship 4x4s. Its smaller size of 60mm is ideal. The feel of this cube is fast and bit blocky. I like the feel of the standard magnets better since they are pretty weak and you can't feel them much during solving, but still adds to the stability of the cube. It allows for faster turning, but I found that it does lock up more. The stronger magnets definitely feel more noticeable, but are not too strong. I like that there are two options of magnet strengths for this puzzle, and plan to get the Volk 4M, the standard magnet version, to test it out more thoroughly and compare it to my current main, the Angstrom Aosu GTS 2M. Hey, this is Keenan. I really like the Volk 4. The turning feels soft and it's very pleasant to solve on. I'd say the Volk 4 is a mix between the Wu Chui M with its controllable cubic feel and the Aosu GTS 2M with its speed and bubbly crunchy turning. It's a little reminiscent of a Valk Power, but in a good way. The cube performs very well aside from some corner twisting, which is odd for a flagship 4x4. I prefer the strong magnet version. The standard version's magnets are quite weak, and it makes the cube too flexible for my liking, and it just didn't suit my turning style. I currently use an Aosu GTS 2M, but I'm highly considering the Valk 4 as my new main. I'm really looking forward to getting one for myself. Hey everyone, this is Phil. The Valk 4 is a nice compact puzzle that fits well in the hand and turns pretty easy. To start off, I don't like the standard one very much because of its weak magnets. I do, however, like the strong version a lot. It fits well within the landscape of 4x4s out there, in the sense that Chi'i now has a flagship level 4x4 that cubers can do well with right out of the box without having to extensively set up or magnetize. I don't do too much 4x4, but when I do find the need, I'll most likely go to the Valk 4M strong version. Hey, this is Jules. I'm quite happy with the Valk 4 and I'm impressed with its performance. At a comfy 60mm, it's easy to handle, smooth to turn, and it has a satisfying snap thanks to the magnets. The outer layer magnets do feel a little bit light even on the strong version, but I find doing inner layer turns to be extremely pleasant with just the right amount of strength. Turning on the Valk 4 is very effortless and can be quickly set up to provide a buttery, smooth feeling without compromising its speed. It's definitely going to be my main soon enough, and it's definitely going to be a main for a lot of people. Hey guys, this is Robbie. I really like this cube. The small size makes it easier for me to control, and it also feels really good to turn. Compared to the Wu Chui, it feels more stable and smooth. I prefer the Valk 4 with a strong magnet because it fits my rough turning style. I have not been excited for a 4x4 in a really long time, so I'm looking forward to getting my own soon. Hey guys, this is Chandler. As you can see, this was actually my first time timing my solves for anything larger than a 3x3. From testing tons of cubes around the office, I do however know a good 4x4 from a bad one, and this is a good 4x4. Right out of the box, performance is very good compared to other flagship puzzles, and it gets even better when just a few drops of silk and DNM are added. While I personally prefer the Aosu, as it's 6'5 has some pretty large hands and the slightly larger size of the Aosu works better for me, I would certainly use the Valk as a backup main if I were to start competing in this event. Hey everyone, Mats Valk here. Chi and I have been working for a long time on the Valk 4 and we are very happy it is out now. The cube has a size of 60mm and is therefore smaller than most other 4x4 cubes. The cube has a crispy, smooth, yet stable feeling. I immediately fell in love with this cube once I got it and have never considered switching back to my old main. And last week at London Open, I broke my 4x4 single competition PB by over a second to a time of 20.97 seconds. I hope you will enjoy the Volk 4 too and let me know if you've broken any records using this cube. Cheers!